Alright, okay. Hello YouTube, this is the DVD Gamer Show. Episode 49, part 2. And today I'm reviewing Jeff Wayne's Water Worlds for the PlayStation 1. Now, if you haven't watched part 1 yet, you've missed quite a bit. I've already explained the story to Water Worlds, the graphics, the controls, and the music in this game. So let's pick up where I left off. Well, let's go to gameplay. The gameplay of this game. I like to call it a strategy mission game. The missions, it, this game involves a lot of strategy because of the fact that you have to strategize how you are going to destroy and kill off the Martians. And the mission part, well basically, at the start of every, of every level, if you go into your pause menu and then go down to counter it will tell you your mission. Your mission. And the gameplay is rather good, I have to say. And in, in, some of the missions are extremely difficult. Okay, let's move to good stuff about this game. Well, the good stuff about this game is this. Well, when you ex exit the game and or lose or lose, you're you are welcome for one of the best cutscenes I've ever seen on PlayStation. This. I'll let you watch it. Although, this game always gives me the creeps this was no for some strange reason. It was a Alright, we'll let's see where things are going to be. Yeah, that cutscene right there, that, that cutscene will play every time you either lose in the game or quit the game. And it's a pretty good cutscene, it looks really well done. Anyway, back to the um, what I was saying. And the good thing about this game is the um, password system. Now, in this game, you can't save, so in order to get from a lower level, you must click. Every time you finish level, you'll be rewarded with a password. In the game, there are 14 missions in all, and, but there are 15 different passwords. Now, you may be asking, David, why the hell are there 15 passwords for a 14 password game? Well, if you wait a while, I'll tell you why. One password is a cheat. And this cheat is mandatory to, to finish this game. But first, I'll just... I'll wait a bit first. For the passwords, to enter them, all you do is this. You enter them by pressing this a certain button on the um, right hand side of the PS2 controller. So basically, you either press X circle square or X circle square in a certain combination. So I'm going to enter this one for the hell of it. X, 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 circle, triangle, X, circle, square. If you enter it correctly, the game will automatically take you that, take you through that level. After a bit of loading, of course. Um, okay, all good stuff about this game is the invincibility cheat. Now, in this game, the invincibility cheat is, is almost a must. Some of these missions in this game are so, so hard, the invincibility cheat is almost mandatory. That means this, this, this cheat is essential to finishing this game. Basically, all you do is you go to the um, password menu. Before typing in the level that you want to go onto, you 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 type in the in invincibility cheat code. The cheat code goes triangle square x circle triangle triangle x circle, and then uh, a message will come up saying that you have got the invincibility cheat on. Sorry about that. Now, after you um enter the invisible cheat, you will be able to enter your level password as normal. Okay, other good about this game are the multiple vehicles. There are loads and loads of vehicles in this game for you to use. I'll tell you what they are. In the game, the humans have several vehicles to use. The one vehicle which you, which you get is the armoured car. The armoured car it's a pretty good vehicle. It's top speed on the road. It's 45 by an hour. 
off the road, it's got 30 mile an hour. It's got a very low powered cannon, and its armour isn't that strong at all. The next vehicle you'll get is the Armoured Car Mark II. This vehicle has a top speed of 50 mile an hour on the road and 35 on the um, off road. It's got the same cannon as the Armoured Car Mark I, and it's also got. But it's got better on the Armoured Car Mark I. Uh, the next vehicle in the game that you will come across that's very, very crap, and it's, it's not that much use at all, is the Armoured Lorry. It's, it's top speed is 35 mile an hour on the road, it's, it's um, off-road speed is 30. It's, the only weapon it has is a machine gun and that's it. It's pretty rubbish and the armour is very, very weak. Um, here's a, the next, another vehicle that is even worse than the um, armoured truck or lorry. Is the fuel tanker. The fuel tanker is shit. It has practically no use whatsoever. I haven't found one use for this vehicle at all. I'm dead serious. And the only remote use I can think of for the um, fuel tanker is to drive to the Martians, let them blow you up, and when their fuel explodes, well, they'll they'll feel the feel the blood because the fuel explodes, their mass explodes, and nukes every Martian in the past. That's the only use I've found, boy. Other than that, it's shit. Okay. Now, now this isn't a vehicle. These other weapons are known as cannons. In the game, there are three types of cannons. There's the um, heavy cannon, the light cannon, and the medium cannon. All the cannons, basically, the light cannon has the worst gun the medium cannon is the second best, and the heavy cannon is the third best, as, as, the, third, as the best gun. And that's, be that's basically how the cannons work. And also a machine gun turret, which is used to taking down the, the flying ships. Um, Alright, back to the vehicles. My, what, probably my all-time favorite vehicle in this, in this game is the Thunder Child. In this game, you get to control the Thunder Child from the, um, from the CD. And the Thunder Child is one of the best vehicles in the entire game. It is really, really good. It's got its armor is really is really strong and it's got one of the best guns in the entire game. Um Okay, here's new vehicle that's not that bad either. The motorbike. The motorbike is crap because it's only good for getting away from the Martians. It's, it's extremely fast, so getting away from the Martians is pretty easy on this thing. But when it comes to shooting things, it sucks. Um, another good vehicle is the, um, is the anti-aircraft gun. The anti-aircraft gun is extremely useful for taking out the um, Martians' spaceships that fly around. Although it does take a while to um, get to the, the counter work properly. Now, I'm very sorry, YouTube, but I've run out of time. So, join me in part two of my War the. I mean, I mean, part three of my War of the Worlds review, where I will tell you more about the vehicles and review all the game. Until then, YouTube. Bye bye. Part three.